Okay, hello dear friends. So here we are looking for a mass sequence of numbers. It's kind of interesting. Sometimes when you get it, it's very, very pleasant. You figure out the pattern of a certain, uh, a certain series of numbers. It's very interesting. And uh, when you're stuck there and cannot see the light of it, it's very dark and it's very confusing and very frustrating. So let's uh, see this pattern if we can solve these problems. Okay, take out my good old pen. My good old pen. Okay, so the first one, 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 4, 1 over 5, 1 over 6. So now we can already see on top of this fraction is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And on bottom is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the first item, the term number 1 is 1 over 1, term number 2 is 2 over 1, term 3 is three, uh, 1 over 3, I'm sorry, I, already, I always speak with my Chinese pattern. Term, over, term of 4 is 1 over 4, term 5 is 1 over 5, term 6 is 1 over 6, ding, 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 ding. So we get a pattern, term n is 1 over n, right? And uh, if we want to find term 100, that is 100 of, uh, 1 over 100, 一百分之一, okay? That is, um, that is relatively easy. Okay, the number 2, let me write this way. Number 2 is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. Usually when we see this kind of problem, we see the difference. This one, the second one to first one, what is the difference? And 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. And we already know the pattern. That is uh, 1 to the power of 2, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square, 6 square, and then 7 square, uh, 7 square, 8 square, so term n is n square, then term 100 is 100 square, square, so it's one, two, three, four. Ten thousand yuan. Okay, question number three. We see one over three, one over five, one over seven, one over nine, one over shi and what do we see the pattern here? Sorry, okay. Are we in the right zone? I hope we are. Okay. Yes, we are. What do we see the pattern? So three, four, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, and then should be fifteen. It's an odd number, and um, <clears throat> and the difference. 5 minus 3 is 2, 7 minus 5 is 2, 9 minus 7 is 2. So the first term is 1 plus 2n over 1. So t1 is 3 over 1, t2 is 1 plus 4. 4 over 1 equal, not over 1, I always, 分之 1, 1 over, okay, yeah, I am sorry, I'm too much, uh, uh, 
get mathematics terminology in my in my vein. So T three on the denominator is one plus two times three over one. So uh, the, the uh, and the su subtraction is one. Uh, the numerator is one one over seven. So we got the pattern. So T n is one plus two n one over one plus two n. So T one hundred is one plus two times one hundred, and the numerator is one. So one over two hundred and one. Okay, question number four. R one over two, three over four, seven over eight, sixteen over fifteen, thirty two. Oh no, thirty one over thirty two. 63 or 64. So what do we see here? On top 1, 3, 7, 15, 31, 16. There is a pattern but not so obvious. The number seems a little bit odd. They are all odd number to begin with. And on the bottom, they are all even number. 2, 4, oh oh. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32. So this, each one is just, a, uh, it's just a double the previous number. So on the bottom, the numerator, the, the, the denominator should be 2, times the term tn2 times the term and on top is one number smaller than the bottom the numerator is one number smaller than the denominator so 2n minus 1 right so <clears throat> t100 is 2 times 100, 2 times 100 minus 1, so 200, 199. 199 over 200. No, I got it wrong. No, no, no. I totally got it wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I will not delete this video. I will make uh, a, a correction right now, right here. So we see the bottom is 2 term 1, one times 2 to the power of 1. 1 times Okay, term 1, term n is 2 to the power of n, actually. So, when n is 1, bottom is 2. When n is 2, bottom, the, the, the denominator is 4. When n, the third term, 2 Q is 8. So now we know the pattern. And on top is one number smaller than the bottom. So it's 1, uh, uh, 2 to the power of n minus 1. Okay, the term 100, T100, is 2 to the power of 100. And uh, the Numerator is 2 to the power of 100 minus 1. This we cannot 
calculate just so easily. We need a scientific calculator to do it. I want to make it into number form. So please forgive me and give me some time to do the calculation. Oh, what are you doing? My telephone. Okay, we will use decimal. Not in a rush, I'm sorry. But uh, when we see problem, we take our time and solve problem that is more important than quickly uh, give you the answer and uh, eliminate the dead time. Sometimes uh, some friends make comments about my video that I have too many dead time. I am sorry for that. So we, c oh, oh gosh, we can take a look at it together. Two to the power of 200. We use decimal and two to the power of 100 oh, oh my god oh my god that is a huge number 1.2 let me copy it and the result is 1.267 times 10 to the power of 30 1.267 Six zero zero two times ten to the power of thirty minus one. <gasps> Whoa. Are we in the right zone? Okay, that is it. And uh, I will shall we continue to do one more? <laughs> and the number five is is a little bit too easy for us, right? Let's do it. Five. Number five. The pattern is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gosh, you don't need to let let me know. Even one year old. No, five years old knows. So each number is one bigger than the previous number. So n equal plus one plus one times n how many number? And the first term is is a three. So you should add two. T n equal so T n equal two plus n and T one hundred two plus one hundred is one hundred and two. Okay. Ooh. I wish you a happy, happy, happy every day. I love you. I really do.